Hi, this is Erin and I'm going to share some homework tips. So the homework tip I'm going to share is to type up and diagram all of your homework. And I do most of my um, word processing on Word. I'm using the, the newest version of Word and it takes a little bit getting used to, but um, I've been actually pretty happy with how everything looks and I've kind of gotten it to look the way I want to. So I have already started um, writing, typing it out and how I format it is I do the problem, the section number, and then I say everything that is given. And the thing that I need to do is, um, this homework assignment is all about um, circuits with a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in parallel. And they all pretty much um, look the same. So I'm going to make that in multi-SIM. And I already have uh, this problem right here. And so I kind of already made it. I've shown in another video how to use um, multi-SIM, but now I'm going to basically, I'm only creating these diagrams, I'm not actually going to perform a simulation, I'm just using it because I can build the circuits how I want them to look um, in it. So the first thing I'll do is um, I'm going to change the labels on this. So since there's only one capacitor, it's not really necessary to have that one there. And then in the display, I'm going to choose what I want to show, and the ref des, that's this, that's just the label. So I could call it capacitor or anything I wanted to, but I'm just going to say C and press OK. You can see that um, I want to have this C right by the capacitor, so I just pick it up and move it over, you can adjust that. And the other thing that you can do, which is nice, is um, do a text box in multi-sim. So you just press Control alt a and then you click where you want to type. It's going to be V, because there's a voltage across that circuit right there. And you just highlight it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is get rid of all these pin points. So I'm just right-clicking in this uh, in the circuit area and hitting properties and then you can see there's all these different tabs I go to show grid and press apply then hit OK and they've all disappeared so it's a much nicer looking circuit and then I just use the snip tool to copy it and I'm going to, so as soon as you snip something in, um, in Microsoft, it automatically stores it on your clipboard, which is, it's like, if you press, if I press control V right now, it basically copies and pastes it to the thing. So I like to center the diagrams. And the last thing I'm going to do is put in um, how the current is flowing. So I just have um, these arrows. So if you go to insert, then shapes, and this is recently used, but it's just a line. So I'm just going to do that. Um, do that for all of them. I mean, I could copy and paste, but it's kind of half dozen one way, six dozen the other. Um, it could bother you if, sometimes if I'm feeling really um, kind of perfectionist about this. Since that's not perfectly straight, I can show you how to make it straight. It It's almost not worth it, but... <laughs> um, so we can see then, okay, so I right, I right clicked on it and hit format shape and it brings up this box right here. And we want to do a rotation. So how we're rotating it is a Z rotation. And I actually already know 
it's you can't go less than um, you can't go negative you can only go positive like from 0 to 360 so I know it's like 355 or something we can do that that's a little bit too much Oops. See, it was like one degree off. So if you want to do that, you certainly can. I mean, I guess since I've already done it, I can do it with this one too. And that's what's nice is like if it's the same sort of um, formatting, if you leave this tab up, you can just go straight from one to the other. So I'm assuming it's similar to that one. All right, so I made all of those straight how I want them. Um, I could, could, adjust it more. This is kind of, I don't think everybody is a, as obsessed with it as maybe I would be, but some people are, so I'd like to share how to do that because I didn't know how to do it for a while. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is, well, one of the last things is now I'm going to um, insert a text box where I just going to draw it. And so in, in Word, it's automatically formatted so that it's a white box with a black outline. You can see that. And I don't like that, so I just go to Text Fill. Don't want any line. I don't, uh, no line, no fill. Uh, that's not right. Oh. So this was text options. So we do want text. I want to format the shape. I don't know if you caught that. Um, so when I right click on it, I want to format the shape and not the text. We were on that before, so that's why it wasn't looking right. So it's no fill, no line, and that will disappear. So now I'm just going to write um, I sub C. Okay, and I'm going to copy and paste it. It kind of anchors it over there. I'm not sure why. That's just the default. And it also automatically wants to make that I an uppercase, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to paste it again. And then do IR. And again, it does that. So you can just um, do Control Z to make it undo. So and then the last thing we're going to do is just to make him ignore that and then ignore it again. <laughs> ignore like for the spelling and then ignore for the formatting or grammar, I guess. It's pretty, it can be tedious, but once you get the hang of it, it's less tedious. And the other thing I want to do is to show the, the polarity of the voltage. So that's just going to be another um, box. So I'm going to insert a text box. And again, I'm going to do the no fill, no line. And then I'll do plus, and then enter, enter, enter. And then a negative, and you can tell that the, I'd like this negative to be bigger. So I'm just going to make it 16 and bold. Okay, so that's basically all that I wanted to show. And then the last thing I would do, so say I were to um, move this diagram, uh, just go, I'll just cut it. Or yeah, so I'm just going to cut. You can see how it has all of those lines there, and that's annoying, so <laughs> we're just going to do Control Z to undo that, and what I'm going to do is um, just take another snip of this so that I can reuse this diagram and not have to worry, um, not have to remake those things. So that didn't snip right. Yeah. 
All right. So now it's there. Just do control V. And it actually makes it bigger. It kind of resizes it, which is a little bit strange. But there it is. It looks it looks nice and now I can just copy and paste this because I already know part of like writing up the assignments is that you have an idea of how long the assignment will take you to do and how long um, and what all the problems are like kind of like in a test you can get to the problems that you can you kind of see oh this is just this is the same problem but it's just some of the variables are changed